Good morning to you lads, my name is General Bluebell, and welcome back to Crooked Man. Uh, my camera, my face cam, stopped recording after like five minutes, which is bad. So I'm here for, just for the intro, and uh, I'll take Bluebell uh, from the past, will take over. So I'll see you at the end for the outro. So this game is confusing, I have no idea what the frick is happening, but it's intriguing. Uh, I, like, I like the story so far. Uh, j janitor's room? <laughs> I, I reckon I need to find that D character. But I am not sure. Where the, f where the fuck to find him? Because... Last time I think I talked to him somewhere. Books. More books. A record of blah blah blah. 1647. An elevator for carrying the books. Why would you need an elevator to carry the books? I, I, I don't know. I, I'm from Serbia. I, I, we don't have that. Uh, the elevators for books. We have stacks of books. But we don't have the books. I don't know what I'm talking about. Lots of books. Yes, knowledge is power. Ba do 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 ba da da do 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 ba da da do. Oh, so I'm looking for a fucking book. Oh my goodness. Uh, monster, whatever. Escaped. There was a notice on a blackboard about this fucking seminar! Crime among you. Okay, and it's prevention. Psychological approach will be referenced, so be sure to read it before coming. Professor of Criminology. Um. Evans uh A B A B C it's the A B C whatever. So okay. Once again the guide saves all. Now I have been recording for twenty four minutes. Twenty three actually. Yes! 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 Just a moment, please. The criminal behavior, psychological report, approach, report, report. Uh, that notice in the lecture room mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. Hey, there's a slip on, on the paper, of the, of the paper, in here. What, I what's, what's the number? Nine, nine, eight, one. 9981. I need to write that down somewhere. I'll write it down in my phone. Um. Nine nine eight one. Uh, nine nine eight. Okay. Nine nine eight one. There eight two no eight one. There we go. Okay. David is for the box. Uh nine nine eight one. Friends Moore. Hello, Mr. Moore. How are you doing? Uh nine nine. Yes! Nice! It contained the key to the computer room! My favorite room out of all of them. Also, I'm playing on a keyboard right now. As I've disconnected my controller. Great! Yes. Um, computer room. That was downstairs, I think. Here. Nope. Uh, I'm 
stupid. A map of this place would be nice, actually. Janitor's room. Uh, faculty room. That goes for the bows, I guess. Nope. Yes, actually. Whoops. Sorry. Um. Computer room. That's France more, more, whatever. Computer room. Yes. Yeah. Unlock the computer room. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Bunch of computers and a laptop. Computer. There is no power. Of course, there's no power. A trash can is overflowing. Lots of complicated papers. I don't understand any of them. What the fuck? Hey, hello, hello. One seven o nine. Nice. I'm just gonna write that in my phone again. One seven o nine. Right. Thank you, phone. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, that's spooky. Ahem. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you all for coming today. We're glad to have so a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learn here will make us result. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. Yay! W what the laptop? But there's no power. Oh yeah, yeah, that's spooky. But even as very Victorians, uh, there is something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. David, what the frick did you do? He was highly skilled, kind to all of us and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed. What the hell did you do? By none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. <gasps> Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment by betraying his friends and mentors? Did you fake an exam, man? Why would you do that? I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he did, what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. Bro, that's lowest of the low. S stop it. Stop! My goodness, David. You are the lowest of low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? No, that's a bit too much, man. That's a bit too much. Ge go off and die somewhere. Coward. <laughs> Yo, that's, um... How should I say this? That's a bit too much. Die, 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 die. No. For a fucking exam. Bro. I can't move him. Stop! Jesus! David... 
What the hell did you do? No, I'm not a coward. I I just what did you do? Huh? I heard a scream. That was you? Jeez, you made me freak. Nice. <laughs> What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Yes. Yes, it did. Uh, something spooky happened. Forget about it. Sorry for the surprise. It's nothing. Do not do that. Like, why? Hey, hey, dude, you okay? No. You're super pale. I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way and I haven't slept. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Damn. Damn, son. Have this. Ooh, what is that? It looks very nice. I had... I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. Bro, really? That's nice. Thank you. What, seriously? I don't need this, I told you. Leave me be. Drink it, jeez. You really look like you need some food and drink. I am, and I'm being nice, so accept my kindness. I mean, he's basically offering you a drink. Alright, thanks. But what's all of all this coming from a guy who was calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. Besides, maybe it's fate. I tell you what. I won't call you shady anymore. Now, Chira, you could be my client once I'm lawyer. Yeah, good. Huh, that's a quick turnabout. I'm grateful at any rate. Good, 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 David. Stay like that. Say, have you seen anyone around? Anyone else around? Particularly a, ma a man but my age. A man? Oh, nobody. Who are you looking for? A monster. <laughs> Yeah, though I don't really know how he looks. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Don't anybody be anybody would be around here, though. Oh, but can I ask you something too, Professor Andrew? He always helped me out. His room is on the third floor, but it's got a code and I can't get in. I was thinking the professor still might still have some lecture notes for me around or something. But yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? Okay. Alright, got it. I'll wonder some more then. Uh, you look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well, you be careful too. If you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself, anyhow. Smell ya. That is disgusting. Don't do that. So, my theory is that all of this is happening in Dave's mind, and, uh... Yeah. Hmm, maybe he's not as bad as I thought. No! Got an energy drink. He basically gave you an energy drink for free, man. You shouldn't be judgmental of him that much. I mean, he did call you call you a shady punk. First time he saw you, so... Maybe be on your toes. But... Don't trust him too much. Who knows? On the third floor, Andrew Robinson. Ray Twain. Now that's Franz Moore. Idiot. Um... I shouldn't be calling professors idiots. They're very respectable people. Okay, okay. Up for the six. Damn, son, that was a different code. Andrew Robinson, uh, that was that one down the hole. Lefty. Hello, Lefty. Uh, computer room, and then. Oh yeah, there was a paper talking about fucking ID. 
I'm stupid. Um, let me just write this down like a normal person would. One four four, I think. Uh, two two four two four six. I have seen Swedish, and I immediately thought of PewDiePie. God damn it, Felix! You're everywhere, aren't you? Hmm. Faculty room, not that night. Why did they go down? What the fuck was I doing? Got transfixed by the person. Andrew Robinson. He is right here, right? Yeah. Andrew Robinson. A six digit pin. That's actually pretty good. It's 144246, I think. Yeah, I actually remember that. Nice. Four two four six. Yes, nice. Thank you, diligent note taking. Uh, I got it open. It looks like some sort of diary. Finally done with the finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, there's that lone D. I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He is lagging behind everyone else, and yet he is so intent on being a lawyer. The nickname D stands for Dreamer. Apparently, it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grades he'll, grades he'll, he'll always get. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's two, right? I don't know. We have a different... Um, scoring system here so I hate how he fawns over me too I practically have to act nice to him but he always comes for lessons after school I wish I'd never let him in my class yo dude that's cold I just hope he gives up on his dream soon and finds another path bro this is about D that's awful he'd say this about unsuited. Though maybe D is really that bad. If D sees saw this, he'd be it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor and always tried so hard. There, I tore the page off. Uh wouldn't want D coming in and finding this. Got a page from Andrew's diary. What a fucker. He, yeah, but he shouldn't be saying that about a student, especially a student. Uh, I'd like to save that. Thank you. There we go. Uh, save completed and uh, item. Uh, do I handle anything? No. Oh. Can it be broken? Uh, uh, John Keith. Let the monster get out of here. Um, huh? Oh, it's him. Hello, idiot. The monster is still wandering around. Is he looking for me since he couldn't kill me? No. I'm gonna have to persuade... D to leave. It's way too da dangerous here. I'll look for him. That was unfortunately all the time I had uh, for recording today, but I hope you enjoyed that video. It took a lot of time to record, okay? And uh, yeah, uh, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe and uh, thank you so very much for watching. Keep on marching bravely into victory. I'll see you all in the next video.